So networking is such a critical thing and such a critical tool and skill that you need to have to be successful in any industry, including the music industry. So I'm gonna give you three tips of what I've experienced and what I've gone through working through the industry throughout the years. And I just wanna give my perspective, my three top tips on networking within the music industry. Hey everybody, my name is Johnny Griffith. I'm a songwriter and filmmaker and startup entrepreneur. And please feel free to hit the subscribe and bell button below to know when I release new content and get notified when I do so. So my first step is to get involved with the music community. So when I first started out in Miami, I started going to the Grammy U events and Grammy Foundation, and I met a lot of people. But the main thing for anybody out there, you want to get yourself out and grow is to network. You have to know people. If you don't know anybody, nobody's gonna hire you. And you have to get in front of people's faces and say, hey, I'm here. So please, please, no matter where you're at, it's so important to network and get yourself out. So for my second tip, is to bring a value to a relationship. You know, a lot of musicians like to spam people or say, hey, this is my single, go check it out, without even having a rapport or relationship with somebody. Having rapport with people is so important. Now, in some cases, you have to make sure that you build relationships with people. That is so important because at the end of the day, you have to have value to bring to the table. Whether it's transactional or whether you're building a friendship with somebody who you're going to do business with, you have to have value, you know? There's no transaction in business, usually, without value to both parties. Make sure you understand the needs and want of the person that you're building a relationship with and see how you can work together. Sometimes it, there's no value in the relationship from a transactional end or in a business end, and that's fine. Sometimes you, you just become friends with people in the music industry, but you have to have some sort of value for somebody to take you in, reciprocate that energy back, and I think that is something that is very, very critical in any person's music career. Tip number three. Provide a service and use it as a way to network. So I'll give myself as an example. I learned how to edit and produce video. Aside from being a songwriter and going to school for, for music production. And once I learned that video production is high in demand in the field of music, I said, hey, let me go around and let me uh, offer my services to uh, big studios or big celebrities here in Miami. And by me offering my service, it got me a lot of opportunities to where now I'm working with big celebrities, people who are on TV, people who are up for Grammys or even won Grammys. And by, just by me offering myself my services that is highly needed, it opened up a lot of doors. So for anybody out there, whatever you do, tap into other talents to open the door. Yes, you're trying to build a career as a musician, but at the same time, you have to do whatever you need to take, in my opinion, to progress and move forward in your career. So if you are good at graphic design, and you could work in a marketing department at a record label, go ahead and do so. If you're good at social media, go find a part-time job at a studio who needs it. Find a way to get your foot in the door. You don't have to do it forever, but the main thing is like myself, to where I use a talent to open them more opportunities to help my career, you can do so. My advice to any musician out there is to simply find a talent or tap into the talent and skill sets that you have and offer it if there's a market for it and open up doors 
using that talent.